In the span of about eight hours Monday, an average workday for adults, three Cincinnati teenagers got shot. The first shooting involved a student at Woodward High, across from the school's campus in Bond Hill. That's where someone shot a 17-year-old boy in the arm. Then, just before midnight, police found a 13-year-old and 18-year-old who'd been shot in an apartment complex off Liberty Street in the West End. It's horrible what's happening with these kids. Mitch Morris has spent countless hours on streets throughout the Queen City imploring young people to say no to gun violence. Despite Monday's bullet count, Morris is optimistic because he says he has to be. There's a lot of stuff happening to a lot of good kids in the city, a lot, doing a lot of good work. They graduate from school, they're going to college, doing a lot of community service. So that's I had to keep that in mind. There's a lot of keep, kids that's doing well and doing good uh, compared to the senseless gun violence happening in our community. Sergeant Kelvin Lynn used the same word to describe yesterday's shooting near Woodward High School, a shooting that sent staff members into lockdown mode. My personal opinion uh, about all of these shootings is they're senseless. Morris says he understands where Sergeant Lynn is coming from and hopes others agree that gun violence has no place near a school or on a sidewalk in Cincinnati. He's tired. I'm quite sure a lot of them feel the same way, man. Yeah, they, they're tired. So that's why us as a community, we have to get on board. We have to, the community has to get involved and work with a partnership with the Cincinnati Police Department and we can work this thing out together. It can't be no division. Now, thankfully, all three of Monday's young shooting victims are expected to recover. The two shooting victims who are 17 and 18, they were taken to University Medical Center while the 13-year-old shooting victim was rushed to Children's Hospital. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.